Hello guys today we will discuss about NDT coordinator interview question on radiography. Testing. Please subscribe for more videos. Question 1. Difference between destructive and non-destructive test. Answer. Destructive. Test destructive test includes methods where the material is broken down in order to determine mechanical properties. Example. Tensile test. Bend test. Non-destructive test non-destructive. Testing is a method that does not damage or destroy the material or product being tested. Example. Radiographic test. Ultrasonic test. Magnetic particle test. Liquid penetrant test etc. Question 2. Radiographic test. SAEP 1143. Answer. Radiographic test is a NDT technique that involves the use of either X-ray or gamma rays in order to view the internal structure of a component. Question 3. Backscatter radiation. Answer. A letter, B, with minimum 13 mm height and 1.5 mm thickness shall be attached to the back of each film holder during each exposure to determine if backscatter radiation is exposing to the film. Question 4. Radiation sources. Answer. X. Rays gamma rays, iridium 192, cobalt 60 selenium 75. Question 5. Radiographic film. Answer. Industrial radiographic film shall be either type 1 or type 2. Film shall be selected to produce radiographs possessing acceptable sensitivity, density and contrast. Type 1 film shall be used for radiography of pipe diameters of 8 inch or less. NPS. Question 6. Radiographic contrast. Answer. Radiographic contrast is the degree of density difference between two areas on a radiograph. Question 7. Radiographic density. Answer. The overall degree of darkening of an exposed film is referred to as radiographic density. Question 8. Radiographic sensitivity. Answer. Radiographic sensitivity is the combination of radiographic contrast and radiographic definition. Sensitivity is judged by IQI also called as pentrometer. Question 9. Intensifying screens. Answer. Only lead intensifying screens shall be used. The main function of intensifying screens it intensifies the radiographic images on the film. Question. 10. Film develop temperature and time. Answer. Below 180C and above 240C developing is not recommended. Question 11. IQI, image quality indicator. Answer. IQI is used to get better sensitivity and IQI shall be selected from either same alloy material group or grade as identified in ASTM SE 747, or from an alloy material group or grade with less radiation absorption than the material being radiographed. Following are the types of IQI. 1. DIN wire type IQI. 2. ISO wire type IQI. 3. ASTM. Wire type IQI. 4. N wire type IQI. Question 12. Densitometer. Answer. Densitometer shall be used to measure the density of the film. The densitometer shall be calibrated, 12 month, annually in accordance with ASTM. E1079. Periodic calibration verification check shall be performed at the beginning of each shift. After 8 hours of continuous use. Question 13. Radiographic technique. Answer. A single wall exposure technique shall be used. For radiography whenever practical. 
When it is not practical to use single wall technique, then a double wall technique shall be used. 1. Single wall technique. 2. Double wall technique. Single wall technique. When a radiographic source is centered in the pipe for exposing a butt weld, one exposure is adequate for the radiographic inspection of the complete weld. Double wall technique. 1. Double wall single image. 2. Double wall double image double wall. Single image, an LT. 13 mm at least 3 exposure by 1200. When radiographic source is outside but not more than 13 mm from the weld surface, at least 3 exposure separated by 1200 shall be made to complete weld. Double wall single image, and GT. 13 mm at least 4 exposure by 900. When radiographic source is outside and more than 13 mm from the weld surface, at least 4 exposure separated by 900 shall be made to complete weld. Double wall double image. When the outside diameter of the pipe containing the weld is 88.9 mm or less, 3 and a half, or less, then, double wall double image procedure may be used. There are two types of double wall double image technique A. Elliptical, at least two exposure. B. Superimposed, at least three exposure. Elliptical, at least two exposure. For the elliptical technique the radiation beam shall be offset from the plane of the weld at an angle sufficient to separate the image of the source side and film side portions of the weld so that there is no overlap of the areas to be interpreted. The elliptical technique requires at least two exposures 900 to each other for each weld to be radiographed to achieve complete coverage. Superimposed, at least three exposure, in the superimposed technique, the source shall be at right angle to the weld and images of both walls are superimposed. The superimposed technique, at least. Minimum 3 exposure taken to each other 600 or 1200 for each weld to complete all coverage area. Single wall single image technique. The radiation passes through only one wall of the weld. Which is viewed on the radiograph for acceptance. Double wall single image technique. The. Radiation passes through two walls and only one wall weld on the film sidewall is viewed for acceptance on the radiograph. Double wall double image technique. The radiation passes through two walls and both walls are viewed for acceptance on the radiograph. This technique shall be used for welds in piping three and a half or less geometrical unsharpness. It refers to the loss of definition. It occurs because of the radiation does not originate from a single point.